everyone, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to some more Heavy Rain. We're going to go ahead and just jump right back into the game here, and I will see you back in just a second. Sorry, I didn't see that on there for a second. I was like, what is going on? Whew. So... Some... Why did... Oh, I'm... oh man. Okay. So now we're playing as this jovial-looking dude. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Liar. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Third door, last uh, left corridor, uh, something like that. I love how five dollars did it. You'd have to give me a whole lot more than five bucks. You know, I know which door it actually is, but what if I just knock on all of them? Okay, it's on the left. Let's just go there. I guess the other ones just won't be answered. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh no! It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Okay, Scott. Are we, is this actually what we're gonna do or? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. My Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Okay, I may have made the wrong decision. That sucked. I want to help you, you dumb bitch. Oh, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's not her fault. She's just really hurting. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lady. Just gonna randomly walk around your place then. I bought 10 minutes, so I can just walk around here, I guess. So what is... Th what is... What is the... Is that to leave? Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Okay, I thought, I don't know, I thought it was going to give her more money to talk to me, not like, chastise her for not telling me about her child. Guess I'm leaving. 
I did that wrong. I screwed that up bad. I'm sorry, random lady. Uh, his asthma. Lauren. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, doll. But I really wanted to see ya. Oh, no. We got to intervene in this. Old fat detective man. Break down the door. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. All right, can we just kick it in now? How do how do I do that? You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. No! <laughs> oh, I did that action correctly. Oh my gosh! This is like, this is gonna be hell for me! <laughs> I am shaking it so hard! <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> Maybe she'll talk to me now. Better get her a new table. I see now why when I was first starting the game they asked you how well you were familiar with your dual shock. I cannot do that motion for some reason. Now I know why they asked you how familiar you are with your dual shock. I was like, I know my game my, my controller pretty well. I didn't realize it was going to be about this. I'll see you again, asshole. Why don't you have a gun? Just kill him. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby. That's it? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. These loading screens. I'm assuming that's what this is, right? Kind of nuts. Like, can I actually control his head? I can't. What the hell's going on here? people in this game am I gonna play? Who's this fool? The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. 
got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. Wouldn't you automatically bring that I'm out? For Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Okay. I'm about to find a dead body. Do, do I wear sunglasses at night? What's going Video on here? Recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. the hell is this? Why did I take it off? Okay, so I guess I can have it on or off? Unrelated to the investigation. Some kind of like cyber crime thing where I can like magically find things. This is crazy. I kind of thought this like it didn't seem futuristic. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Am I looking for him? Because I'm more having fun playing with this thing. Oh, get through, get over it. You're just stepping in water. It's just water. Nothing wrong with that. This is crazy. What is this thing? Hey, you there. What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well? Are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. We're coming to three ring circus. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden, 
come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. I don't like that guy at all. Not a fan of him. All right. That said, let's go over here and see what the heck this is. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. Keep looking, I guess. I have a feeling this is one of those games that if you miss something... Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Harry, come in. Traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think the voice acting in this is a little rough. Uh, he said his name with like a very specific accent and then I feel like it got lost at some point. Some words it's real like strong and some it's not. I don't know, I could be completely wrong though. I'm just, I'm just saying based on other things. That's a dead kitty cat. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Well, duh. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh. Norman, I gotta, I gotta judge you a little bit here. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I'm just gonna keep using this. It's working for me. I don't know. I just feel like the voice acting in here is a little weird. Can I check this? There we go. Harry, comment. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Why are all the the policemen doing stuff? Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. And the blood is the same as on the tracks. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. I think that's everything. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this just in case we miss something else. So maybe we should go towards the tracks then, cause... It seemed like the tracks was where we found the most junk, so... Maybe that's where we should go. I could be wrong, I just feel like the voice acting in here is kind of weird. Then again, I know I don't have a consistent accent either, so I guess I can't judge too much. Like, mine comes from living in a lot of different places, though. Moving too much. Like, maybe... we can't continue down the tracks, okay. Maybe I didn't want to do that. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like we got everything, but this isn't a game that's going to hold my hand and tell me I take it. So maybe I'll throw this back on. This 
it's not gonna tell me if I got everything. Well, why is this open? What is this? Like some kind of transfer or something? Transformer or something? No, it doesn't seem to be doing nothing. Is there anything else around where the body was brought? Ooh, what's this? I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. I've got this thing. Harry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. So can I follow that? Harry, come in. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. I've already seen this. Right? Yeah. We can't go further down, I don't think. Can we? I guess we can. I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit by a train. Is it not letting me go any further? Yeah, I hit the invisible wall. Okay. Seems like that's probably it. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be a little bit more to it. Let's go ahead and just hit a couple more as we get out here. Might as well. This is like the craziest little technology. I'm leaving these things on. Something too cool about wearing sunglasses at night. All right, FBI boy. Oh, wait, 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 go back, go back, back. Questions for this guy. Hello, lady, dude. Which one of you am I asking questions to? Why can't I go here? Wait. Blood on the tracks. But where did it come from? There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Maybe he's using a railroad. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. Okay. I I thought maybe I could talk to them. It was just my little thought bubble. All right, I guess we're getting in the car. Okay. I mean, we got this crazy like thing, this this Ari thing. Why couldn't we just use that to solve the crime? Jeez. So are we playing three different people in this game? I told you I, I don't know anything really about it. I think I know I I know what the twist is. I think because it, it comes up like on every single list of games with cool endings or games with weird endings or whatever, whatever, whatever. Thank you so much for watching me play Heavy Rain. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It does mean the world to me, and it really does help me know what kind of videos to be putting up in the future for everyone. If you want to go ahead and contact me, you can always comment here on YouTube or check me out over on Twitter, at Amber from the Vault, spelt the same way there as here. No O in from, no E in the. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you want to check out more of my content, go ahead and click on that Heavy Rain playlist there. That'll give you all the videos in this series. There's also a video up there that YouTube thinks you'd like based on your browsing history and a picture of my big dumb face if you'd like to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't say it enough. I will catch you in the next one.